Hi, Ryan here. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the flat figure version 4 in Ruby on Rails. So here, you will solve also the issue in Safari and some other browser that cannot interpret the type date in your form. Okay, so let's get started. So I'll create a new application in Rails. So we call it test a figure. And then at the same time, we added the database, uh, database PostgreSQL. And then we will add the web pack okay so once we are done so while we are doing that uh, we'll go here to add the template in bootstrap so i'll copy in here and then once it's done we can paste it and then here we will use also the stimulus flat picker wrapper so to make it less code in our uh, flat picker using the date uh, flat picker instead of creating a bunch of javascript okay but the requirement here is to have first the stimulus uh, which is a really nice um, another um, framework that we can use in Ruby on Rails to interpret instead of creating a bunch of JavaScript and also instead of you're using React.js or Vue.js Stimulus.js is one of the um, better uh, JavaScript that you can use in Ruby on Rails and then it's faster than React.js okay let's access our test um, date figure Okay, and then I will add the uh, templates. And then while we are doing that, I will add also a stimulus. So by the way, I'm using the Rails Bytes. Rails Byte is a website that you can find all the templates instead of your creating uh, from the scratch the installation or configuration in Rails. You can just um, access in here and then it will uh, some other contributor created a script that it will run automatically for you. For the, let's say the stimulus JS, and then it will create this one for you and some other package that needs to install in it using stimulus JS. So I'll add this one, and then once it's done, we will add the yarn, which is the flat picker, and then next is we will use the stimulus flat picker. Okay, so I'll add it here. So it's done, and added this one. Okay. And put bundle and then I will create a application uh, sorry a database rails db create and then db migrate okay and then I will create a scaffold to make it our code uh, our code or time to make it less because scaffolding created a, a template for you the controller the model that you can use so I'll put string this is the value of the fields that we're gonna use. We're gonna use the date for an example, and I will just use string instead of the date, okay? And then once it's done, I will migrate again, because it's creating a migration for this one using the title and the date. Okay, once it's done, we can access now our code. Let me close this one, I think. Um, there is a bag on visual code. Now let me try it again to open. Okay, I think this is good now. Okay, so I will access the routes. So I will change the routes as I can access quickly the post that new. So you can also type in your um, terminal or in to do the command lines of to look on the routes of the post. I will use the grep to make it specific. And then I will uh, Rails route script. Then this is our path, which is the new post. Okay, so then in here, I'll go to applications, HTML.erv for our layout. I will add here uh, to make it nice container, container, and then I will add a div and then row. Okay, then I will add the yield in here, so it's kind of in the middle. And I'll put an div is in the top. Okay, I think it's working. Um, let's run the server. So it's now running. And then it's compiling our webpack that we installed the uh, uh, Yarn Flat Picker and Stimulus Flat Picker. So we don't have yet in here. Let's visit what we added in the package.json. So we added the bootstrap. In bootstrap, we use template that's added the jQuery popper.js. And then we added the stimulus because it is a requirement 
and we added the flat picker and stimulus flat picker as a wrapper of the flat picker okay I think this is fine so if you look in here volume test and date 01 2 and 21 and then let's create a pose so this is the pose so it seems working and now and since if you look in here the date is still not working so what we're gonna do is let's visit our applications if we have in here okay so we added the controller automatically using the template of the stimulus so this is the information of the stimulus so we added we import and now since the requirement is to add this information for a flat picker we will add this one you can add also to application.js but since we are using index.js or you can create also a controller using the flat picker inside the controllers okay so now once we are done in here we will go to how we can use in Rails so here it says we can use the controller the flat picker we can use the date for month which is YMD year month and date and the time zone now okay let's copy paste that one and then let's go here and we'll go to the form and to post and then this is my date so I'll post in here and then this is the information of text field so I'll do this one seems uh, there's something wrong on the vendor there's a missing closing okay what else what else is our missing oh in here the date okay the comma okay so here you will see now you have a date okay so in Safari if you will just do this one and then we will add here the type which is date for instance it will not kind of work in Safari so Safari if you will look here in uh, it will work this is the calendar that default in HTML file however if you go to Safari and some other browser it will not work so it's not really good because if the user just put like this and then this one and then this one it will save and then that's a big issue they want to create post this is the problem now we don't have a clean data in terms of the date so in able to solve that we use the flat picker okay so in the flat picker we added it here and then now I want to add a nice design or a nice layout so here I will go to index.js maybe I can use the dark you can find in the module in the nodes the design of flat picker that you added when we added the yarn add flat picker I think it's in here somewhere in the flat picker and then there's a dist in here and then themes you can add different kind of design in here let's say I will use dark because I like it but not specific for not for specific for the other project because sometimes the color is different let's see if you add it oh I think you can use import in here because it's cannot read some error sometimes it's some weird uh, let's go in here uh, we can use the dark okay it says here import this one and then we can add this one okay so once it's done and it will compile and now you have a dark so if you look here here and then I put Ryan so however if you look in this one it's not really good format or not readable so in able to change that what we can do is to add the um, format which is we can use this one um, instead of creating a JavaScript and everything so we'll just use the flat picker format using the wrapper of stimulus so this is let's go in here and then I will go here and then the format I want to have a make it nice let's say kind of forgot instead B and then not but we can look later in here let's do let's go here I think this day let's see let's see the format okay let's see 21 so yeah this is the format now this is January 1 2021 so I'll put in here kind of so yeah then put Brian that's your one create a post and then now it's readable and it's kind of use that the user can read it and can how do you call it, easily find in the, the calendar and then at the same time if you will go 
to our Safari, now it's readable. So that's the good thing. And then I can create a post. Okay, I think that's all. And I hope you learned. And then if you have any question, just leave a comment down below. And thank you so much for 